Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's Oscar and today we're back again with another fun video. Today we're going to be talking about something that um, is actually a chip in a club in Vegas that most people probably didn't even know um, existed. It was only open for probably a short amount of time. Um, the chip in particular, most people probably don't know exists. Um, I don't think it's been on chip guide. I don't think it's on chip guide, but it's a, it's a higher denom chip from a casino that's actually still open, but the club um, that it came from is actually gone. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about that right now. The chip in the club that we're gonna be talking about today is actually from the 4040 club um, that was located in the Palazzo in the Venetian. Um, it opened in 2007, it was there for a couple years. Um, obviously the 4040 club is well known as Jay-Z's um, I guess we could say it's a nightclub kind of get together, uh, bar, lounge, sports bar, lounge, um, along a list of other many things. But 4040 Club definitely mentioned many, many times in numerous Jay-Z songs. Uh, still, I think he probably owns a 4040 Club. I think there might be one in New York, maybe one or two others um, across the world or in the U.S. But the 4040 Club, if you think of 4040 Club, you think of Jay-Z um, along with probably Ace of Spades and what other other uh, company or uh, let's say drinks that he does have. But the chip in question or the actual, the casino part of it um, is actually a hundred dollar 4040 club. I guess it's like a commemorative, uh, but it was a 4040 club specified hundred dollar chip that was used um, at the Palazzo inside the 4040 club. So like I said, the, the, this is probably a chip that most people probably don't know exists. It's a chip that Mike Christensen actually has um, in his collection. I think it's actually for sale. Um, and I remember the first time I saw this, he showed it to me probably two years ago. Um, the very first time I went to a uh, the CCA summer show, um, he happened to have it and I think he had a bag of chips. He just took it and dumped the chips onto the counter and kind of showed them to me. Um, the 4040 Club was one that kind of stuck out because I haven't seen it. Obviously, I listened to a bunch of rap music, a bunch of hip-hop, a bunch of Jay-Z, um, and the 4040 Club definitely stood out. So I happened to ask him uh, kind of what it was. He gave me a brief description of it, um, but two years ago, um, it wasn't as much uh, information that I got. But it was about a month or two ago, or about a month ago at the Casino Rama show, I actually got to sit down with Mike and we talked um, about that chip. He uh, specifically brought it for me, which was really nice because um, I think it was probably around Christmas time. I wanted to, um, you know, hop on a phone call with him and ask him, you know, questions as far as that chip went, um, kind of how he got to acquire it, uh, the story, the whole 4040 Club kind of vibe and all that stuff. So it was cool to get down to sit, uh, sit down and talk with him about that chip. Um, which actually gives gave me a, a little bit of information for this video. So I remember Mike was sitting there uh, mentioning he, uh, I think he was in town for probably a week or so. Um, it was the week or the weekend of the 4040 Club opening. If I remember correctly, um, obviously the 4040 Club opened in 2007. It was probably New Year's of 2007, so moving on to 2008 from this wrap-up um, article that I found online. Um, along with Jay-Z and Beyonce, um, there was Mary J. Blige, Al Sharpton, Robin Thicke, uh, LeBron was there, a um, bunch of other other artists, um, A-Rod was there, and a whole bunch of other people. But, um, like I mentioned, I think Mike said it was about a week or so he spent trying to get into the club. I know he definitely spent three days at least trying to, or two or three days trying to get into there. Um, he basically sat outside the club um, waiting for someone to open up. I think he mentioned there was one blackjack table in that whole club. There's one or two. And he happened to sit outside that club for multiple days waiting for, you know, someone to open up that table. Um, and I think it was the last day of his trip. He was actually, you know, he was almost getting ready to give up. Um, but there was one dealer who kind of happened to, I don't remember if it was the dealer on the opposite side of outside of the club with a table or there happened just to be a dealer that walked in there and asked Mike if he wanted to play. Mike said, yeah, of course, let me play. Um, and Mike got the chance to play. He said he was the only one playing blackjack um, inside the 4040 club. And uh, I think the minimum bet he said was a hundred bucks. 
So I think he bought in for a thousand. So he had 10 of those 4040 club hundreds uh, basically in his stack. He played a couple of hands, lost uh, about half of them. So he uh, lost 500. And I think he walked away with the rest of them. Um, if I remember correctly, he asked uh, if it was, you know, cool to take the chips with them. They said, yeah, sure, why not? It's obviously a souvenir. You bought, uh, paid for them, so they're your chips. So the interesting thing about the those chips, though, I believe he mentioned the minimum bet on the table was $100. So obviously the $100 4040 Club would have been the main chip you're using. Any of the other higher denom chips, 500 thousand five k any of those those were all standard venetian chips uh venetian palazzo chips um if you don't know venetian and palazzo they basically mix and match their chips uh so the uh, venetian or the palazzo poker room will probably be using venetian and palazzo chips since they're basically sister uh sister building sister casino so the hundred dollar chip was the only one that was the 4040 club. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have a picture of the, the chip on the left hand side, like I'm in, or the right hand side, left hand side of the video, like I've been doing for a majority of the time now. But the the 4040 club was the only one with that inlay. He said so. It was kind of interesting. He sat down, definitely noticed that right away. Wanted to get something uh, commemorative and celebrative of the chance that he got to go into the 4040 club, play you know, experience the, the vibe, even though it was only him and the dealer basically sitting at the table. Um, but you know, it, it's a piece of history of uh, Vegas that I'm sure there's a majority of people or let's say those people that were around in 2007, 2008, they probably remember Jay-Z's 4040 Club. Um, as far as events wise, I'm not really sure what happened inside the 4040 Club. Um, I'm guessing it was a lot of nightclub kind of nightlife. Uh, probably sports bar vibes during the day when it was open if it if and when it was open um, but definitely something unique definitely something that most people probably didn't even know existed um, if you google 4040 club majority of the stuff that pops up isn't it if i remember correctly isn't even vegas related stuff mainly kind of new york um, and other parts of the u.s where the 4040 club or 4040 clubs are currently open so it's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting thing. Um, it's something definitely that kind of uh, caught my interest when I first saw the chip, because obviously I had never seen it before. I had never read about it. I had never seen a picture of it. I had no idea that a 4040 Club chip existed. So um, pretty cool. And I, I got a big, I got to give a big thanks to Mike Christensen for, you know, showing the chip to me in the first place. I think it was two years ago he showed it to me. Uh, last month, he brought it to the Casino Rama show just for me, so we got to talk about it, sat down. I think we talked for five or ten minutes, so it was pretty awesome. Kind of wish I recorded kind of a voice memo um, at the time, so I had all the information and, you know, uh, the exact information that we talked about. But I think I remember majority of it correctly because it's such a unique story and such a unique chip in the first place. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it was something that you didn't know about. Hopefully it was something that, you know, piques your interest or maybe it's gonna be a chip that you're gonna to wanna to look for for the future. Um, if you have a large uh, chip collection and you want something unique, or if you have a Venetian Palazzo kind of collection, you're missing that one chip because you never knew it existed. Or if you just want a piece of uh, Jay-Z or Vegas history, there's definitely uh, that thing right there. So 4040 Club 100 from the Palazzo slash Phoenician. Definitely a cool chip, definitely unique, definitely something not seen every day. And uh, like I said, big thanks to Mike Christensen for you know showing, to, showing it to me in the first place, talking to me about it, and uh, giving me the opportunity to make this video because I don't, it's, it's cool. I love Jay-Z, I love chips. Everybody loves you know a little bit of history, a little bit of content, so the world goes round. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop a like. If you have any, any comments, put those down below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. And I'm